Hey, Tony. Yeah. All right, let's call Callie. You guys, uh, you met on Bumble, the dating app. You went on a date. You went for a walk. Um, she's not a drinker, so you tried to plan something that was just, alcohol was not involved, which every single date I ever go on, alcohol is involved, but okay. Um, this is good. I, I thought it was very thoughtful of you. Um, you had a lot in common. You liked each other. And uh, you haven't heard from her, though, since the date, even though she told you on the date that she wanted to see you again. And so you're confused. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go. Let's call Callie right now. Good luck, Tony. Thank you. Hello? Hi, is this Callie? Yes? Uh, Callie, hi, good morning. My name is Fred. I'm calling for the Fred Show, the morning radio show, and I have to tell you that we are on the radio right now, and I would need your permission to continue with the call. Can we chat for just a minute on the show? Would you mind? Okay. I know it's a little bit strange, but thank you so much. We're calling on behalf of a guy named Tony. He says he met you on Bumble. And you guys went on a, a date recently, a coffee date? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we you, did. remember Tony. All right, we're off to a good start. So what um, What happened? Because he called us and told us a lot of nice things about you, that he liked you and that you had a lot in common and that he was excited to see you again. He even says that he asked you if you wanted to see him again and you said yes, but he says you're not responding to any of his text messages now. So why is that? I, I'm a little surprised to hear from you, I guess. Um, Tony should know he was being weird. Uh, <laughs> How was he weird? Was, yeah, what happened? Like, the beginning of it was fine. Um, and then he found out that I had a three-year-old, and it, he got weird. Like, he he seemed really fixated on my kid and and specifically, like, how he was born. Like, he, he flat out asked me what my birth method was. Like, like how did the baby Whoa. come out of my body? Wait, and I just, I'm like, I just you met so you. You, you, like, go, you go, I have a three-year-old. And he goes, cool. How did, how did <laughs> like, was it natural or a C-section? Is that what he was asking you? <laughs> yeah. Um, or I no guess both are natural, but you know that. what I mean. Was it, the, up and Earl? Was it yeah. the primary one of birth? Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. So, so he was concerned <laughs> with the extraction method. Yeah, if you want to call it that. Um, <laughs> hmm. um, okay. No one has hmm. asked me that. Uh, and he, he seemed satisfied that I had a C-section, but like, I didn't owe him that explanation and I just thought it's such a, it's heartening questions. I've never in my life asked. Now, people volunteered that. They'll be like, oh, I had a C-section or this is or this or that. Or they, you know, women will volunteer their experience. I've never in my life asked somebody with kids what their birth birthing method was. Let me. No. Uh, tell, <laughs> I forgot. to. Well, I know. I just don't know why you would. I don't. What's the reason? Not, none of my business. But right. I'd like to know, actually. And, and we luckily we have an answer. We, we can get an answer. Tony is here, Callie. I'm sorry. I forgot to mention hey. that Tony is here. I'm very forgetful. Well, Tony, what wait. are you doing? Why would you ask a woman that question? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think <laughs> I don't understand what the big deal is, honestly. Um, you know, it's like for me, I'm, I'm asking because I know the childbirth is can be you know quite an ordeal and i wanted to know what i'd be working with you know oh, oh my god tony <laughs> no, no 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 i mean I, come on make him what, say that's it. a legitimate what, thing to ask what you're working like, with oh my god yeah, yeah the yeah, parts are yeah. all normal because okay you're parts. Parts. Oh you know god. are the parts <laughs> normal what is going on yeah. with anatomy lately on this segment do, so, do people like not realize you're... how the body works well, you know, if you're going to get it on, you want to make sure that it, it's like, you know, okay, she may, it almost feels like she didn't have a kid or, you know, you're entering, oh I don't know, like alien part nine and that's what? something you got to know kind of up front. The hell are you talking about? My like, job uh, on the floor. You know, yeah. You are a sick man. So wow. you want it, so basically in your mind. Is this really that big of a deal to you? Yes, in, in, yes. yes, yes it is. In bro. your, in your what mind, if she had a natural or a, 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 I keep saying natural, but. Uh, and if she'd had yeah, a, that, can't say. I don't know you what can I say vaginal. You I can. guess I can. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. know what it's I want. It's a body part. Yeah, I guess so. If she'd had a vaginal birth in that case, then you would have an issue with that. You, you, in your, in your little mind, do you think that that somehow will will make everything different down there, and then and that would be a bad experience for you? I had a bad experience before, so that's why I'm kind of figuring that out. Because, I mean, to be honest, look, it, you could go on a bunch of dates, you could be courting somebody, and then. It doesn't work out, 
when you guys get intimate and then and then you're like, uh oh, I just, you know, spent a bunch oh. of money. Spent a bunch of money. Oh yeah. So God, God forbid so you invest in a coffee. human being and then and now in, in your mind now, Dr. Tony over here says that if he if he invests in a woman and then it gets to the intimacy part and if she's had a that kind of birth then then it won't be good for him. That's where Tony's wow. brain is. Is it the birth or what Tony might be working with? Yeah. I was going to say, Tony I mean, needs some lessons. Yeah, maybe everything went back to normal like it usually does. And maybe maybe Tony is. The, do you have the issue? Right. No, I mean, everybody wants. A okay, thing, no. You know? Maybe your dad should have pulled out. Maybe that should have oh. been his birthing method. <laughs> this is gross. I'm oh, that's, sorry. Uh, that's a low blow. Yeah, and I. It's oh, creepy, it is. Right? That's a low blow. It's very creepy. Yeah. It's a very, very inappropriate thing to ask someone. And also, it's not even a. Think. It's not no. even a founded argument. Like, I don't even. Like, that, that, what you're saying is not tried and true like it's not like right. every time every situation and even then <laughs> and, and you've doubled down now to say god forbid i invest in someone who can't please me in that way and you're not you're not even right you're not even based this is even based in fact hmm. now i i have to disagree i think a lot of people okay. are being polite but if you really ask dudes they're gonna tell you behind closed wow. doors the same thing well, I am a dude, right, and Rufio's dudes. a dude, right. and Jason even knows a little something about this, which is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you and I that. were talking mm. without without you being on the radio show, you would 100% agree with I me. I would 100% disagree with you. Me. I would 100% disagree with you, actually. And even if, even if you were right, which you're not, that is a crazy thing and a crazy justification for asking somebody. Mm -mm. And I can see now. It's funny, though, because Tony over here, to your point, Kiki, Thank seems you. to be having this problem regularly. Right. Yeah. So you might have the issue, mm -hmm. my boy. And there's medicine for that, I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Medicine. Pumps. Yeah, yeah, why don't you go get a medicine? <laughs> why don't you go get yourself a medical procedure then? You have a micro. Wow. I'm, 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 work, I'm working with plenty of Oh, of course you're yeah. talking about. Oh, yeah. More than four. Yeah. Big swing and Tony over here. That's what right. they call him. That's why. <laughs> okay. More like Tiny Tony. Um, <laughs> Callie, I'm sorry. And I appreciate you telling us what happened. And that is very rude, inappropriate, incorrect, insensitive. So many things. And I honestly, I can't believe this. No. And I really hope he doesn't have kids because I already picture him being that dude in the waiting or like when the delivery yeah. happens and being like, right. throwing an extra stitch doctor. Oh, yeah. One of those guys. God. Yeah. Don't be that I'd guy. smack you. Hello. Who said that? Don't be that guy. <laughs> Come smack me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Callie, thank you for your time. I'm sorry you had to relive that. Tony, I don't know, man. I, I might rethink the whole... I might take an anatomy class or something. That, that's Honestly. a good start. Yep. Re rethink it and get, come back over to my side. Oh wow! No, 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 no! no I'm not. Good. I, I'm I'm all set. <laughs> you're the one that needs to rethink it. You're just saying that because you're on the radio, man. No, I'm not. All right, <laughs> all right guys. Uh, thank you for your time. Good luck out there.